We're back at Jet Power. Now, jets and props. Now, it's about half an hour before this opens up to the public on the first day. So let's have a quick sneak peek behind the scenes to all the last minute touches and all the new things we have this year. Starting off at the entrance, of course, like every year, we have what are still, in my opinion, the best turbines, most reliable out there, JetCat, going from the tiny P20 all the way up to the 1000 Pro. Airworld, some of the best kits on the market, bringing out this year the new MiG-21 in one quarter scale. Beautiful machine, very small wings, so it will be interesting to see this one fly. They've also got all the massive models, but they're outside in the big hangar, because getting them in and out of here for flying is a big problem. Moving over here, we have Mocky. Of course, this year, Jet Power is now jets and props, so it's not only turbines. They've allowed propellers in, so we're going to start seeing some more planes than usual. Like, anything with a prop is now allowed. Previously, it had to be a turboprop, like these absolutely massive ravens. Really need to see them fly. What else we got? We now have the massive. Modeling seems to be getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The Fiat G21. What's that? Somewhere close to probably almost about four meters. Absolutely massive. And what a machine. Daniel Design, another massive one. The four meter MB339. With wing tanks, without wing tanks, you choose. But the scale of it, if I just stand over here, I mean, come on, wow, massive. Lights, you want lights? Unilight. Then we have over here, we're coming to Calf. Again, not just jets this year, we have the massive Fly Baby, the master, Andreas. Can you take this away first? <laughs> Get rid of that. How big is it, Andreas? 4.2 meters. 4.2 meters, fly scale, but if you want to, we've seen videos of it hovering as well, for the crazy guys, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> Some toys, we've got, we've got the foamy stuff as well. Again, prop stuff. It all, all seems very unusual. From Spain, our good friend Vic Vicente, one-third RC scale kits. If you're a builder, a true, true builder, this guy can sell you and make you all the wooden parts, the kits, to make amazing scale machines like this one. Now the tent is massive, so we're going through here quickly. Haven't got a clue what all of these are, but just look at them. Massive, beautiful helicopters from Heli Factory. Got some Fenestrum ones over there with the uh, built-in tail blades. Absolute works of art. Turbines, electric, you name it. Skymaster, the Sukhois. Sukhois seem to be becoming very popular, and especially now that people are adding in the vector thrust on the back. So, more 3D coming soon. All the Sebart stuff as well. Some, something more for the everyday pilot, as opposed to having the massive four meter models, there's stuff here for everyone. So if you aren't here this year, make sure to make it next year. Jetsmont turbines, also from Spain, flying in the corner there. Sorry, we'll just go back. From Portugal, the Hurricane, from Aero Car Control. Hi, guys. <laughs> We're running in and out of people's stands here. Fortunately, they seem okay with it. Colm, again, not a turbine, but what a piece of art, what a machine. Got six cylinder, four stroke petrol, that in the air sounds beautiful. We've seen it in the Joe Knoll before. One day, one day we'll have one. Again, it hasn't opened up yet, so we've still got a couple of stands that are making their final preparations before we open at nine o'clock in half an hour. How about this? Never seen before jet power, F3A models. Vortex, and this one was the Glacial. What a size though. I mean, okay, the, the surface area of the fuselage is probably about the same as the wings. Incredible. Horizon Hobby with the Osprey. This one I think has become very popular. Nice big wing, nice big plane, flies nice, looks different, twin prop, reliable, even if one engine fails, 
normally continues going in a straight line, so no worries to anyone. There's a lot of activity along going along here. How about this for a turbo prop, eh? PC21 with a one, two, three, four, five blade prop on the front. Beautiful. Now, towards the end of the hangar here, we have some really, really big models over there. But let's just stop here. We have another new model, CM Jets, Mr. Carlos Marquez, best Hi. known for all the fuel tanks that he makes. Now, making the leap into models as well. The F5, how big? Three meters? Yeah. Length? Three meters? Three meters, uh, point, uh, 45. 345 length for 200, 120, 130 size turbines. So, Carlos, who, who's going to be the test pilot for this one? Yes, Martin Pickering. I like it. <laughs> what else we got? Got some more turbines, got the guys from Electron. Come on, guys, we're opening in half an hour. Quick, 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 come on, build it. <laughs> Adrian, not looking too impressed. Ah, here we go, something very different. How about this? We have turbine model, but if we very carefully remove that, we have quadricopter underneath, so we've got vertical takeoff capability. Then turn the turbine on, fly away, do the mission, land again vertically or on the wheels in a conventional setup. It's up to you. Hopefully we'll get to see that fly this weekend. Must be very, very interesting. And I'm guessing it probably took a while to get all the settings right as to when to kill the props on the top and when to start the turbine to go forwards as well. Turbines. I think this is now the biggest turbine. Frank Turbine 1500. And if you come over here around the front, we need to find out some more information, but it seems to be two stage because it has the fan outside as well as the actual turbine inside. So we'll need to find out exactly how that works. Planes are definitely getting bigger though. Not a clue what this one is. Rapier, best guess. But then we have here a Sukhoi. Sukhoi 27. And what a Sukhoi. If I stand behind it, you probably can't even see me. I mean, come on. And just to see how much engineering has gone into this, you don't even need to look at the model. Just look at the base. The base for this whole thing is milled out of a solid two meters of steel, metal, aluminium, whatever. So this one, I'm not sure if it's going to be flying today. It would be nice to see it though. We'll get out of here carefully, try not to break anything. I'm not sure we could afford that. And then at the end of the hangar, the beast, the maximum weight limit is 150 kilos. This is the Concorde, 149 kilos, 840 grams. It's 160 grams under the weight limit. And as Otto, the designer, builder and pilot explained to us yesterday, that's exactly how much he needs to add the afterburner lights in the back. So hopefully, again, the weather holds out, we're gonna be seeing this fly and we'll try and have a word with Otto as well so he can explain just how you start a project like this. Seven meters, no, more than 10 meters. Who knows, just too big, insane. Scale jets, beautiful machines as always. Vaspa, not seen these guys before I think. Just setting up now. They have some very interesting ideas though. I mean this thing at very least looks very, very, very fast. Servos, all kinds of connectors, wires, you name it, you'll find it at Jet Power. Not only the big massive airplanes, but everything you need to build it from a small one to a big one. Pilots, more helicopters, Vario, some of the best kits out there. Gmo, very fun gliders, very fast hiding. Need to fly one of those, haven't tried one yet, but from what we've seen and when we've seen them fly, they look great. My good old friend, Krill model. They have the RS in a few different sizes and this is definitely my favorite color scheme. Luca hit this one 
on the head with the black, red, white and chrome. Looks absolutely stunning and he flies it really well. Look forward to seeing that later. But they have a new model out as well, coming soon, which is the Sukhoi T50. Now the idea is apparently this is going to be vector thrust, so it's going to be fully 3D. They've integrated the elevator into the wing, so even though it's a conventional setup, the flight characteristics should be similar to that of a Delta. So that one's going to be very interesting to keep an eye on. And given the size, it should be relatively easy for anyone who wants this kind of jet to be able to get into it. Very similar to my Lizard, as opposed to these massive airplanes where you need trailers, lorries, trucks, vans to transport everything. Not to mention, like the Concorde, where you need about seven friends to be able to actually just move it. The Wizard, N-Line, great flying planes. I'm guessing we'll see Sasha over the weekend flying them, ringing them out. And it couldn't be a jet power, jets and props, without Tomahawk and moving on to Paritech. Some of the best kits out there, best flying, and just beautiful airplanes. What have we got new this year? Well, we have the Epic, which we already had, but now in the Elite version. So rather than having the turbine in the center, inside, it now has the twin external pods. And then, come with me, this one. This one is possibly now my favorite model of the event. Have no idea how to pronounce it. It's the Hersher. Apologies to anyone uh, for that one, but just look at it. The color scheme, the shape, the design. We've seen it on Facebook before, but we've never seen in person anything with these kind of lines. I mean, if we just look at the wheel pants alone, they have this shark fin style thus the color scheme and it just looks absolutely stunning and then how about this a twin baron again beautiful finish beautiful airplane look forward to seeing these and everything here at the show fly permagrit all the way from the uk Yo, we're here again after three years. <laughs> a, a very long three three year wait if you want to dremel anything out sand anything out these are the guys that you need to go to. I know because I have a lot of their stuff in the workshop. They're the only ones that will cut through basically anything, especially if you're cutting through thick carbon, goes through like butter. We have then Final Model Bow, which of course are our good friends as they are amongst other things, the importers for Germany for Pilot RC. This being the Pilot RC J10 and then I'm not sure if we passed it, but we have the model that we are going to be flying as well this weekend, the Pilot RC FC1, which uh, if we have gone past it, we'll cut it into the video. It's, we uh, arrived yesterday, did a setup, test flight, two flights, massive thanks to Enrico for setting that up, flies beautifully and can't wait to fly in the show today and tomorrow. Can't do the tour without stopping or being briefly at Powerbox. We'll be coming back here showing you all the new toys in another video though. Now, here we have Lawrence Concept. Now, I'm not sure if they've been here before, but they seem to have some very interesting plugs for the models. So once they're actually all finished and ready to go, we'll have another nice brand of airlines that we can choose from. Then we have, of course, Paritech, always some great models. Since we're going a little bit more into the, into the prop and turbo prop, of course, they've always come from gliders, so a lot of their stuff is also focused either for gliders, like the blue one over there, or into actually towing those gliders. So it'll be interesting to see how they fill up their slot this year as to proportion between gliders, props, and uh, everything else. And then we're back at the beginning where we started at the Jet Cat stand where we have, of course, the absolutely massive four, four point something meter MB339. And at the other side, the fantastically finished Red Bull, which from memory had two Jet Cat P400s, I believe. Two P400s. 
it seems insane. I can't even think of a model that I've flown with a P400, a single one. This thing has two. And there we go. We're back at the beginning. That is your quick first view of the Jet Power Tent 2022. Hope you enjoyed it. Now let's open the gates and let everyone in and everyone else can enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave us a like. Comment below if there's anything that you want to see more of over the weekend. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video with a load more Jet Power, Jets and Props content. <laughs>